recently we made a video about installing the Brompton SP SV8 dynamo system. This includes the Spanninger Solo rear dynamo light. Now I've installed a front dynamo light to my bicycle, it's about time to install a rear one. Instead of installing the standard rear dynamo light, I'm going to try a selection. I've got four rear lights here from Bush and Miller and one from Supernova. Next, we'll take you through the features and functions of each of the lights. First up, the Bush and Muller 2C. We chose this dynamo light as we like the 2C permanent rechargeable rear light. In the packet, we have one dynamo light, one connector block, two serrated washers and two nuts. It has two LED lights, one either side. The light connects to a standard Brompton rear mount with 50 mm gap between the screws, but you can also increase it to 80 should you need to. The light has an automatic stand light. On the bottom of the light is where you attach the cable from your front dynamo. You can either connect it using spades or with the connector block provided. The weight of the 2C light is 42 grams. The height of the light is approximately 31 millimeters. The width of the 2C light is approximately 103 millimetres and the depth of the light is approximately 18 millimetres. The connector block is connected to the light with a very firm push. We're then going to put the light on our bracket. And next up is the top light Mini Plus. It's the smallest of the Bush and Muller lights we're going to compare. This light has a stand light function. Unlike other Bush and Millers, the light is held on with screws, not bolts. It has a built-in reflector. The dynamo is connected with spades. It will fit either a 50 or 80 millimetre bracket, depending on which holes you choose. The weight of the light with the two screws is about 34 grams. The height of the light is approximately 37 millimetres. The width of the light is approximately 94 millimetres. The depth of the light is approximately 16 millimetres. This is the hardest to fit to the Brompton because it uses screws. We recommend you fit the spade connectors before you finish attaching the lights to your Brompton. Next up is the Bush & Muller Line Brake Plus. This light has a large built-in reflector. It has two LEDs that create a line light across the top. It has a 320 degree field of view. This light has both a stand light and a braking light function built in. On the back are the attachments for fitting to the lights bracket. They're 50 millimetres apart, like the bracket used on a Brompton. The weight of the light is approximately 54 grams. The height of the light is approximately 45 millimetres. The width of the light is approximately 92 millimetres. The depth of the light is approximately 17 millimetres. As soon as the front wheel starts rolling, light comes back on. This is a problem at stations because station masters don't like red lights. The top line view plus has a kill switch. This is the Bush and Miller view brake plus. I think it looks like Dame Edna's glasses. This light has a large reflector built in. It has two LEDs that create lights top and bottom. The light creates a 320 degree field of view, so you can be seen from lots of directions. It also has a built in stand light function and a braking function. On the back it has the attachments for fitting to your Brompton. They're currently set up at 50mm. It connects to your dynamo with either spade connectors or you can use the wires by slotting them in here and then closing it up. The weight with the fittings is 52 grams. The height at the tallest part is approximately 45 millimetres. The width 
is approximately 102 millimetres and the depth is approximately 21 millimetres. And finally, something different. It's not from Bush and Muller. It's the Supernova E3 Tail Light 2. It comes in a nice box. It's amazingly small, but amazingly bright. And it's orange to match my snack Zuma. It's available in a range of colours. This is the orange. It has three LEDs. It has 50 millimetres between the fixing holes, so it's suitable to go onto your Brompton. Now we're going to take the size and weight. The weight of the light with the rear loom is 46 grams. The height is about 11 millimetres. The width is 60 millimetres. We make the depth 18 millimetres. Put the wiring loom out the way and pop the light on. The bolt can be held in place using a 2.5 millimetre Allen key, whilst the nut is done up using a 7 millimetre spanner. Now we've fixed the lights, we're going to take them out for the test drive to see how they perform in the dark. We're going to compare all of our lights with the 2C permanent. Of the lights we've tested, the Mini is our least favourite. It was difficult to fit and it only provides one light, so not as bright as the others. For commuters that use trains, the ideal light is the top line because it has a kill switch so you can turn it off. If you liked this video, please give us the thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. With the two bolts, with the, the weight of the... Oh. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't break. Just start again. Now we're going to compare the different dynamo light options available back in the